I'm Katherine Kelly. I'm the executive director and co-founder of Cultivate Kansas City. Here in, uh, we're on the Kansas side, but we work metro-wide, so both in Kansas and on the Missouri side. Our mission is to grow food farms in community, which means that we work with farmers to help them grow and operate uh, local farm businesses. We have a food access program that helps low-income people get access to local food grown by local farmers. And then we have a program called Metro Farms and Food Systems where we work with farmers across the metro area and nonprofits who are doing uh, farming and food projects and food access projects. For this Nopalis research project that we did, I had been working with um, a guy named Gerardo Martinez who worked for a, an organization called Maddie Rhodes Center. And Maddie Rhodes works with uh, 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 Latino, primarily Latino populations, a lot of new immigrants as well as more established uh, Latino communities. Um, and one day we were standing at the edge of a vacant lot. We were looking at for a potential community garden plot and it was terrible, the soil was terrible, there was gravel and we started joking about how the only thing we could grow there was would be cactus. And he's like, well you know we eat cactus, right? And I'm like, yeah I knew that. And he's like, why don't we do that? And so we uh, wrote a proposal and got it funded and spent the next three years kind of researching how do you grow, ca can you grow, how do you grow cactus for food consumption, for eating of the pads and then for juicing of the what they call tuna, the, uh, the little seed bulb that grows at the end of the cactus. We grew it out in the field, we grew it in a high tunnel, we grew it in a greenhouse in pots, so we did it in different settings. Um, what we learned is that it's very sensitive to excess moisture, so inside the high tunnel in particular we had issues with uh, the cactus basically rotting um, because there was just too much moisture, it, it, they were mulched in with straw. Um, we learned that it dies back in the winter and, um, and it takes some time to regrow, so we were sort of constantly in this process of uh, it would grow out, we'd think, okay, we've got a good number of pads, then it would die and it would start growing again. And so um, so our, the challenge for this region, for cactus as well as for pretty much every other crop, is that we get, you know, the, the joke always is the worst of the north, the worst of the south, the worst of the east, and the worst of the west. And that means we have super high t uh, temperatures in the summer that the cactus loved, but then we've got cold temperatures in the winter that the cactus hates. And so there were some challenges on that front. You know, we also ran into um, uh, a real learning curve around at what stage do you harvest the cactus where it's edible. Uh, we harvested it too late and so by the time we tried to cook it up and cut it open with a fork and knife it was as hard as shoe leather and our knives were, we didn't bring steak knives so it didn't work. Um, we learned that uh, uh, you know, the different varieties had slightly different taste to them, so there was some variation across that. When we when we cooked them up, um, we had uh, Gerardo had brought in and cooked some cactus that he bought at a local uh, Mexican grocery store, and um, we learned that that was a much better texture, better taste than what we grew. And so I think that ultimately the learning was is, uh, at least as long as our winters go so consistently below freezing and we have these abrupt uh, changes in temperature, it's probably not a good commercial crop for for this area. Um, we also learned that uh, if it was somebody was going to grow it commercially, they need to look at different varieties than what we had. We had uh, what was a really interesting idea from a, you know, reaching out to new markets, developing new products that are better are well suited for climate change and rising temperatures in this area that would be well suited for the soil conditions. You know, cactus likes drier, you know, lower organic matter soil. Um, uh, so it, it looked feasible from a number of angles, but it didn't prove feasible from a couple others. So we're really grateful that we got the support from SARE because that allowed us to not lose our shirts on the project. Um, and it provided some, some structure to work within that, um, you know, put it into a format that we're, where we could more consciously share with other farmers what worked and what didn't work.